It's a rising sport in Portage and was on display at Portage Collegiate over the weekend. The PCI Trojans lacrosse team began their Manitoba High School field lacrosse league season with four games at home, two on Friday and two on Saturday. Portage came out on the short end of both games Friday, losing 8-2 to River East and 6-5 to Glenlawn. In the first game, we came out flying. Uh, we were up on them 2-0 right away. Yeah. Uh, we just started to break down a little bit defensively. Our communication was not the same. Yeah. And uh, they just started to pick us apart a little bit on the inside. But right. we, we, we clamped it down a little bit. Um, and even, even on the skilled teams, which Glenlawn's a pretty skilled team when it comes to uh, the cross plan and when you can when you can hold them down to six goals you've you've done a pretty good job defensively it's the third year for the lacrosse program at the high school and the four games in two days in portage are the most the team's ever played at home with an expanding junior lacrosse program in the summer the sport is expected to be a mainstay in the city for years to come I, Manitoba Lacrosse Association, uh, Don Jacks, yeah. who's a huge supporter, yeah. um, really would love to see the sport grow, obviously, because uh, he's the pre uh, president of the Manitoba Lacrosse Association. Great. Um, and with him coaching Glenlaw and um, Greg from, uh, from Sturgeon Heights, yeah. they're, they're great supporters of, of being able to expand the game and uh, they don't mind bringing their teams out, which is perfect because it's set up this way and, and they've been really good with us uh, for getting us uh, four home games this year, which is, uh, it's unfortunate it's in the jam-packed time, but it's very nice that we can have this opportunity to showcase to, to fans and community, stuff like that. Porters plays two more games Saturday when they take on Vincent Massey and Sturgeon Heights at PCI Field. Well, the one thing I think that we really need to improve on is our ball handling. Um, right now, we're dropping a lot of balls that we don't need to be dropping. And that, that just is, it's all about getting some practice in with uh, controlling, cradling, and making sure that we don't over-cradle the ball. Those are going to be some of the skills that we're working on. I mean, we've been working on them already, but it's pretty easy to forget when somebody's trying to beat you with a stick. So.